Now, with Sebago's first animation studio, ePixel Studios, officially launched, the team of five young animators have already hit the ground running. And so this morning, we're going to check in with some of the team members to understand exactly what ePixel can offer. And so joining me all the way from Tobago, we have studio coordinator at ePixel Studios, Ms. Ashaki Armstrong, and one of the animators at the studios, Ms. Naftali Jakarov. Ladies, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on Now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us as well. <laughs> of course. Thank you so much for joining us. Ashaki, I'm coming to you first. Very, very interesting name, ePixel Studios. I understand it's the first in Tobago. Tell us a bit about it. Tell us in terms of what it can offer. And even before that, the reason for having an animation studio in Tobago. Right. So ePixel Studio is basically an, an the first ever animation studio in Tobago. We produce 2D, 3D animation, illustration, concept arts, graphic designs, basically anything that you want to showcase, you want you would like to bring to life, we can do so. The reason for having an animation studio in Tobago is basically to have a safe space for creatives to come together to be creative and have a good time. Yeah. And in addition to making money at the same time. <laughs> of course, making money is, of course, important. I know that our reporter, uh, Carissia Douglas, would have checked in with you earlier and she did the story. And so I saw something very interesting of you actually creating. Is it TikTok filters or, or Instagram filters or stuff like that? Please tell us a bit more about that one. Well, yes, we would have created some Instagram filters. We would have mimicked the I Love Tobago sign that is in Scarborough. In addition to a mood E, which is our logo, changes with the color of uh, your mood, basically. Mm. And in addition to, we would have done an heritage pick, which showcases the different heritage events and whichever it lands on you should be going to that heritage event. <laughs> nice, I like it. I'm coming to you, uh, Naftali. You are one of the animators at this studio. Um, tell us how is it, is it a difficult process to create these, these sorts of animations or you know, how did you get into that and is it as exciting as it seems? Well, it's definitely exciting. Um, in terms of it being difficult, it's not really difficult because, as you know, we have a team of five animators. So we all work together to get the job done. And the jobs that we do, we really enjoy it because it brings out our Tobago heritage and our culture. So we really enjoy doing what we do and we work together to make it work. Yeah. Now, I know one of the uh, animation coming out of it would be the TikTok filters. But what else have you been working on? Well, our biggest project so far, which was our first project, and we actually had it at the launch, is the Tobago Heritage animation. Uh, it's a 10-second animation featuring the Bella Forma, um, which is the woman in the Tobago Heritage logo. She basically, in this animation, walks through the cultural... She goes through a cultural experience of Tobago, and she sees all the beautiful um, features of Tobago around her, such as plants, and there's also a, a part of the animation where there's the, the past events of Tobago heritage in the background as she walks. And it's just a beautiful sight overall in the animation. Uh, so we had it at the launch of the studio, and we also had it at the launch of Tobago heritage. Yeah, because I, I was just about to say I understand now I realize that there's a strong focus on the Tobago heritage. But what what other uh, events in Tobago can you see somebody using the, the studio for or you actually using another event in Tobago to animate or just to make fun for everybody to enjoy? Yes, well, there are actually a lot of events happening in Tobago. As you know, we have a lot of holidays. We have a lot of cultural events such as the goat race. We have Tobago Carnival happening in October. Um, so we will be participating in those events by creating animations that people can watch and enjoy. And it creates a sense of a new experience for our Tobago culture. Yeah. 
It sounds really fun. Ashaki, I mean, in terms of the, now I know you just launched and I know that you are, you know, making your, building your portfolio and stuff like that. But in terms of the future for the animation studio, I mean, how, how big do you see, you know, certain productions actually getting? Are you, are you looking to come to Trinidad? Are you looking to go regional? How big is the, is the studio dreaming? Well, firstly, we're looking to go big globally. We're looking to be globally recognized, of course. So, hello? Yeah, Ashaki? you're hearing me, right? Yes, yes. Uh huh. Mars, continue. Right. We're basically looking to be globally recognized. Yes. So, first step, we, we take baby steps. We go to Trinidad first, then to the region. Of course. Tell us about the launch. Um, it, it, it looked like it was a grand affair. I think I saw the, the chief secretary was there and a few others. I mean, how was it to launch something this major in Tobago? It was well received. Everyone was there with open arms, ready to take in all the information with regards to this new adventure that we'll be going through. Naftali, I'm coming back to you. It seems like you have so much plans for the studio. Tell us about the other animators. Is it that you specialize maybe in one sort of uh, type of animation and then they actually take it? Or how does it work in the animation studio? So in the studio, we actually have a lot of talented members. Um, so the five core team members, are all they all specialize in different things. So I, for example, I specialize in 2D animation. Um, that includes uh, anything 2D hand-drawn, traditional hand-drawn animation. We also have Carlton, who is a 3D animator. We have Orian Jackarov, who is also a 2D animator and illustrator. We have Tabil and Farah, who are character designers and illustrators. And we have... Oh, sorry, that's, that's it. <laughs> no so problem. We, are all, we all specialize in different things and we're all very yes. talented and skilled and in terms of animation so this is this is way out of my wheelhouse but i'm going to try in terms of animation are we talking stop motion and 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 different types of things can you do it all or do you only specialize in a certain type of animation so no we only specialize in certain types of animation such as 2d 3d um, game animation, for example, stop motion, we plan on having in the future. Nice. But right now it's not one of our uh, special areas. Okay, good. Um, and in terms of, are you, are you looking to blend that with virtual reality as well? Can we see something like that coming out of the studio? Yes. Um, so the filters is a part of that. Uh, in terms of animation, we have to look into that a bit more, but virtual yeah. reality, VR, and AR, augmented reality, is something that we implement with our filters. Nice. And in terms of this, the, the type of uh, productions or the, the, the people that you've worked with in the past, now I know it's the first time that you're launching this studio, but for example, you have so, much, so many things done for the Tobago Heritage Festival. Uh, have we seen your work or did we see your work anywhere before you launch the studio? Uh, yes, there was our Tobago Trek project, which was under the company that the studio is under, um, Ed Cut Limited in Tobago. It's at, located at the Cove in Canaan, and we had this project called Tobago Trek, which featured two characters going through the island of Tobago in a kind of mystical, futuristic way. And that would have been um, out already since last year. Right. It's a web comic. It's not an animation. It's a web comic and a game in progress. So many people would have already known about that prior to the studio launching. Yeah. I want to circle back to the heritage because everybody's talking about the Tobago Heritage Festival. Um, just remind us again the work that you would have done on the project. So we have the filters. And what else can we see? So we have the filters and we have the animation. And that was mainly it for the heritage project. Um, so we really focused on those two things to make it really stand out to people so that they yeah. see it and they go, wow, Tobago did that. So I am now looking at the screen saying, wow, because I'm seeing a, an animation of a pregnant woman and it seems as if she's walking through the field. I mean, tell us the inspiration behind this. So the idea behind this was we wanted to bring the logo, the Tobago heritage logo to life in our own creative, personalized way. 
So we decided to merge 3D animation with 2D animation because we have a lot of talent here. And we decided to create this animation where the, the 2D lady basically turns into 3D and she, she goes through this monochromatic world at first. And then as she takes a step towards, like forward, the world transforms into a colorful, bright, beautiful land, which represents Tobago and you're like anyone's journey in Tobago. Yeah. Interesting and it concept. Also, it also um represents the cult the country's history uh, in some parts where we have the past Tobago heritage images showing as she walks forward. Yeah. Why was it important to focus on the woman for this particular uh project? Um, well, the woman is a like a cultural icon, as we see it. She's a cultural icon for Tobago and also for the Heritage Festival. And people usually associate the pregnant woman with Tobago. Uh, yeah. Nice. I love it. I wanted you to go deeper, which is why I was asking about it as well. Uh, in terms of the, the concepts and, and, the, and the ideas, I mean, are you just brimming with ideas and things that you want to bring forward? And what are some of the things we can possibly see from the studio in the future? So in the future, we do plan on working for something for Carnival, as nice. the secretary would have requested. <laughs> and uh, we have a couple of projects working on behind the scenes currently and for the rest of the year. And for next year, we have the Tobago Goat Race event coming up. So we will be doing an animation for that one. We will be doing other things for that so that people will really see the studio. Nice. And Ashaki, final thoughts before we close? Um, I would just like to say thank you to Trinidad and Tobago, basically Tobago, for being so open towards animation. It is truly an extraordinary experience. So... And in addition to um, follow us on all social media pages, which is on Instagram, it's epixel, so E-P-I-X-L studios. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, it is e-pixel, P-I-X-L studios. Nice. Well, Ashaki and Naftali, let me thank you so much for joining us all the way from Tobago this morning. Congratulations on the launch of Tobago's first animation studio. And I look forward to see what else we can expect from ePixel Studios. So thank you so much, ladies. No problem. No problem. <laughs> and that was Naftali and, of course, uh, Ashaki from ePixel Studios just talking about some of the animation work that they're doing with the launch of ePixel Studios, the first animation studio in Tobago. You're on the Now Morning Show, but take a break. We're going to be right back because up next, we are going to be talking to some representatives from the TTPS as we continue to delve into Code 727, the memoir of the 1990 attempted coup, which, of course, is going to be airing tonight. Stay with us. Moving